tomorrow, karaoke. Uh, I'll send you the address. Karaoke, okay. Yeah. How many of us can sing? You want us to go there to embarrass ourselves? Mm -hmm. Speak for yourself. I can sing. I'm talking about proper singing, not GQ shower singing. GQ? Like sexy man singing. Oh, to be honest, I like the way you drop hints that you are attracted to me. Just uh, be ready for tomorrow because I plan to win you over. Whatever, Mdi. Let me call Nathan now so he can know. Okay. Well, I'll be here. I don't want no excuses about you not being able to come. Cool. Speaker, put it on speaker. Okay. Hello. Babe. Hi, love. How are you? Better now I've heard your voice. You? I'm good. Go back to work today. Ah, the wahala has been sorted. Yes, yeah, so. You okay, babe? Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> I was just clearing my throat. So, um, what are you doing tomorrow? I was actually going to ask you if you're available. <laughs> Why? You got something planned for us? Um, not really, but... Yeah, okay, so you remember Mide? Your boss who has the hots for you. Mm, that one. What? Is it his birthday? Something like that. He wants us to go to a karaoke bar. Oh. Yeah, but you don't have to if you can't come. I'm definitely coming, because if I don't, that guy can find a way for his girlfriend to disappear. Hmm. Yeah, he's quite the pervert. Yeah. He does. So, I would send you a text with the venue. Doesn't matter. I'll come get you from work. I have to go. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye, babe. Sweetheart, baby. Oh, but the guy is swift, though. Yes, and I will pick him tomorrow. Wait, let me get something straight. Are you trying to convince yourself or me? Huh? However way you see it. All right then. See you later, sweetheart, baby. You're very annoying. Wait, you like me like that, right? Huh? Tiwa. <coughs> Sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's all right. It's all right. Have fun. Tomorrow, right? I saw Kate's message, her mail. Oh, mail again. You're not the head of programs again. <laughs> oh, that one. But wait, first, all I want to know is did Hadiza confess or did she get sacked? Mm, my dear, she confessed, cried, and even apologized. Huh. Kate wanted to sack herself. Oh, thank God for Mide who intervened. Oh, my God does not sleep. Huh. They have turned her high heel into inverted saddles. For oh, her. Well, she got suspended for a month. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it's good for her. Let her go home and be commanding her pots and pans. <laughs> oh, sense. Anyway, that one is by the way. What's, it? What's going on with you and me now? We're going to a karaoke bar tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I smell love in the air. I beg, I beg. It's a double date with his girlfriend and Nathan. Girlfriend? Mm. If you say so, shall. Mm. But you're back up in the program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to come around and say, I'm mm -hmm. going to be setting some new rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and the strictness. I bet my dad can shout. Come and see this blog I opened. Uh -huh. It's called About That Curvy Life. Are you serious?
Ah. All right. Cordelia, this is uh, Tiwa, an OEP at my station and an employee. I'm not your employee. Would you like to say some theory? <sighs> I didn't think so. And that is Nathan, her boyfriend. I'm not her boyfriend yet. So, Cordelia, are you his girlfriend? Uh, no. Mide and I are complicated. Hmm. How so? Um, well, we've known each other for a couple of years now and we kind of had this on and off relationship going on. So, I take it you're on now? Yes, well, I suppose so. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't go off again. Hopefully. <laughs> um, Nathan, you like karaoke? Yeah. Yeah, I used to do it a lot back when I was in England and the States, so I love it. So you can sing, huh? <laughs> well, I can hold a note or two. <laughs> well, I'm turned <tone> there, though. <laughs> yeah. Definitely flying the same boat with you. <laughs> totally turned there. Uh, well, I, I can sing. You do know that the point of karaoke is not really to show that you can sing. It's not like they're giving out free record labels. As in, you know, it's just for fun. Exactly. <laughs> I know that. Let me call the guy so we can keep us on. This Mide just brought us here to come and shine. Did you see the way his aura changed when he found out that Nathan loved karaoke? <laughs> and as for this Cordelia, his typical type skinny, yellow, high maintenance. <laughs> yeah. That's what you do your so, meeting. Tiwa told me it was your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday? It's my birthday. You said it was your birthday now. When? Tiwa, I can't remember. You know, I know my birthday. Huh? Maybe I misheard you. Oh, you lied. Huh? It's the same thing. <laughs> so what's going to say? Let me take on you. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Baby, good love and protection. Make me your selection. Show you the way love's supposed to be. Baby, you should let me love you. I'm not 
not going to lie, I'm actually having a good time. Anyways, it's time for me to sing now. He's been stalling all day. I must see him sing. I know he's going to fall flat on his face. I'll never know what the future brings, but I know you're here with me now. And we'll make it through, and I hope that you're the one I share my life with. I don't want to run away, but I can't take it. I don't understand. If not made for you, then why does my heart? I'm so tired. Nathan was so embarrassed. I mean, you guys thought he did good now, right? For a non singer, he tried. And then Midi goes on stage and he opens his mouth, and who knew he could sound like that? He cheated. He picked karaoke knowing fully well that. Have you called to confess? You cheated. You knew you could sing well and that's why you picked karaoke. It was my choice and a gamble. Imagine if Nathan sounded like Barry White. <laughs> I'd have been done for. Whatever. I doubt that. There was. Believe me, but I knew I was going to floor him. He seems like a bathroom singer. Next time, when you agree to a double date, you can pick the spot. <laughs> There'll be no next time. Oh, you broke it off with um, Nathan? <laughs> you embarrassed him. And then you climbed on stage and you kept on looking at me throughout, making Cordelia and himself uncomfortable. So? So from now on, I would continue to date Nathan and put you out of my mind. I don't believe you. You're still in this mode? What mood? After singing? No. Look, again, did you call to confess? No, I didn't. Okay. When you're ready, you know where I am till then. Am I the only one that's frustrated or what? Mide needs to stop with all these games. I'm getting confused. She's not talking. Ah, Tiwa. Tiwa, it's me, your mother. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ah, what is it? Ba, 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 oh. I don't know. She just came inside here and started praying. The weird part is that she didn't even ask me to join her in praying. Oh, Marcelo Miro. That's what she needs to do. She should probably pray for you. If I find boys, he's following you and Jesus, I Baba, I am I don't understand the people I live with in this house. She's coming to wake me up again early. Ah, have a meeting early in the morning. Now what is this? I'm telling you that these people, like they're under some kind of spell because why they're joining her, they don't know. Why she's praying, they don't know. Except Shalewa, who knows obviously why she's here. It's been nearly an hour now. <laughs> Ah. Yes, oh, why are you crying? <laughs> 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 
so tired. Hmm. But how come you have a meeting so early? <sighs> Kai said he wants to meet me to talk about me hosting an event. Mm -hmm. And that he's been busy, so he only has time today. Mm -hmm. Also said that he's traveling soon, so the sooner the better. And to be honest, I need the extra income, so no complaints. Oh. Mm -hmm. Talking about income. Mm -hmm. Even me said, my salary is not enough for me. But I'll wait six months if I complain. You mean before they sack you, ba? They can't sack me, they need me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, do we? Ah, only dear. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, ah, dream yale. Yes, oh, hmm. immediately God showed me the dream. I prayed over it and I used the anointing oil He gave me. Eh, hmm. oh, she dear. Ah, that's why you are my sister. <laughs> ah, oh, she, oh, she gone. Oh, Evidently, you guys can see that these two have made up, huh? And I'm sure mom is the one who called her to beg. That's why she's hiding it from us. But the minute they start fighting again, the whole world will hear about it. Hi guys, so today I want to talk about a topic that is very dear to my heart. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do since, but I have never been able to muster the courage based on lack of finances. Today we're talking about moving out. So you know how guys grow up and they reach a certain age and they know whether money deal, money no day. By the time I'm 24, me and my guys are moving into a place so full stop. Now in our society, it's frowned upon when single girls decide they want to move out so why i don't even understand i decided to go out and do some research i had a friend who her dad passed and um her mom wanted her to move to the island based on work and convenience so she got a flat for her in lekki shout out to lekki people and um her father's people were very upset with the fact that she was single and she was living by herself and it caused a whole lot of commotion. Backtrack to the fact that when we're looking for this place that she's currently staying at right now, a lot of landlords were not willing to rent to single girls. Now understand me, you guys, I have the money. I want to pay to live in this house for a particular amount of time. And you're not because I'm single. Coming up with different stories about the fact that once you're single, it means that you'll be having party in the building. Maybe you might be a lesbian. <sighs> These things really worry me. So are you telling me that until I get married, I have no rights to move out of my father's house. Call in guys and let me know what you think. Single ladies moving out. Where are you? Where are you? Over here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm flattered by all the attention. But coming to my office randomly without calling, isn't that a bit too much? Hey. hey. Got you lunch? Oh, wow. Um, I didn't expect you, though. Yeah, I mean, I was in the area and I thought do something nice, show up. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So, about last night. Hmm. I am so sorry about my friend, Mide. He's a bit of a show. I didn't even notice. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, when I got home last night, my mm -hmm. mom was asking me if, you know, 
you and I were gonna come together to my cousin's wedding, oh. and I realized I completely forgot to ask. Just skipped my mind. Hmm. I thought you'd like to come. Be a good chance to introduce you to the whole family. Hey, family care. Whenever you're dating, and this one wants to do introduction. Um, Nathan, I don't think we're on the same page. No, no, don't get me wrong. I am fond of you, but I just, I don't see us in that space. I'm... Oh. <laughs> That's all right. See you around. I mean, I feel bad, but I don't like him like that, Joe. What? Am I a bad person? There's food. Shaliba, what are you doing? I'm cooking for Mohammed. I've heard him saying that he likes Obono, Asemo, Nede Nede. So. <laughs> so you want to poison the boy? Tiwa, do you know I've watched like four different YouTube Obono videos, and till now this still, still looks like cow dog. What is this? Hey. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This fire. What are you doing? Oh my God, oh my God, please. I don't understand. Do you want to poison the poor boy? See, God gave you a lot of talents, but cooking is not one of them, eh? Slaying, that one you're good at. Just stay there. But how will I find a husband? Is it by that? I beg. That's easy for you to say now because you have two guys fighting over you. Which two guys? You haven't heard. Nidia has a new boo now. And I kind of call things off with Nathan. Praise the Lord. Finally. Hey! Uh-uh. Uh-uh, what? I beg, let that nonsense boy clear from the road so he can see Nidia clearly. Like, you hear what I said, right? Nidhi has a new boo, or is in a complicated situation. See, whatever that is, I don't want to be involved in that mix. Tia, what would you do if I just give you a dirty slap now? What? Honestly, like, what are you doing? Why are you even like an day? What more do you want Nidhi to do to show you that he really likes you? What? Oh. Please, please, please. Have you seen the kind of girls Nidhi has been involved with? They look nothing like me. I mean, look at Nidhi. Look at its complicated girl, whatever her name is. We'll be there for me, you know, I like her, so let us be best friends with me. But when his eyes should just open, we'll go back to his type. I need a man that wants me for me. For my spirits, my soul, my mind, and my body. For every damn thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Have you seen the way Midi looks at you? Mm. Tiwa, if that guy should catch you for corner. The story will be different. I'm not joking. <laughs> what if he likes it? Hey, what's up? Are you at home? Yeah. Is everything okay? Come downstairs, please. Okay. You see why I like this guy? Mide is my guy! just go for a drive. Tiwa, when I got the call that my dad had the heart attack. The one hour drive to the hospital was the 
longest hour of my life. I was so scared that, that I would lose him before I got there. But yet, the one person I wanted to talk to was you. I wanted... No. I needed you. And not just as my friend, no. You might not know this, but you've been such a blessing to me. When we met, I was going through a very rough patch. I became guarded and cynical, but it gave me a reason to smile. I, I opened up to love. And I I love you. What? I need deaf. I said I love you. This woman. So, <laughs> now fight you won't take time you say you love me, eh? Hmm? You need you. <laughs> oh, you, are. you don't have to form Voltron for me now. Hmm? <laughs> well, I did. I love you. Come here. <laughs> yeah. We should close the doors. I'm yours. Can I drown in the ocean? For sure Risky things You wanna do Can't pull out I'm good to you Chocolate milk skin You bad as hell Saying that you feel it In your stomach, yeah Why am I Can't you tell It's too late Cause I got you shaking Body sweat tripping like raindrops in the morning Sweat tripping like raindrops in the morning 